Shana Tova, good yantif. I hope it was an easy and meaningful fast. The holiday of Sukkot begins on Sunday night, so this video will serve as kind of an introduction to Shabbat, but really also an introduction to Sukkot as well, but also by the same token an introduction to something that I want to do this year, this Jewish year, in each of my Friday videos. In the past, I've given you a short message about the Torah portion, or the holiday that's coming. This year, I want to center my remarks around one home observance, one thing that you can do at home that is thematically appropriate, calendar appropriate, so that you can increase your Jewish observance in each and every home within our community. This Sunday night begins the holiday of Sukkot, and sometimes Sukkot gets, as it were, lost in the shuffle. We're coming off of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, the most important time in the Jewish calendar, and it would be easy if we forgot about Sukkot. But the shame of it would be that Sukkot has a timeless, eternal message that is appropriate, important, and relevant for all of us. In Sukkot, we're asked to eat our meals in this outdoor permanent hut, because once our ancestors, the children of Israel, did that very same thing in the desert. And as difficult as it might be for each and every one of us to connect to our ancestors from the desert, what we can all connect to is the natural world around us. And oftentimes, living in the concrete jungle, as it were, living in a world of strip malls and houses and developments and everything around us, we oftentimes lose the natural world around us. Sukkot is a holiday that asks us to reconnect. Reconnect with the fact that nature is happening around us whether or not we take notice, and if we take notice, we just might see something miraculous. So if you have a sukkah, eat in your sukkah this week. It'll be a beautiful experience. If you don't, come eat in ours. It's always open. Next week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm here. Come for lunch. I'd love to sit and have lunch with you in our sukkah. If you can't do either, just eat outside. Enjoy this change of season from summer to fall, which is exactly when Sukkot is supposed to happen, to somehow once again reconnect us to the world around us. Shabbat Shalom, Chag Sameach.